Hello, my beautiful ducklings, Mr. Friendly Grumpeteer, and I'm back again with another Steven Universe vlog. And yes, I know I missed the episode. I, I know I'm late with this episode because I didn't know there was an episode last night because there was uh, there was like a break of episodes. They stopped making uh, Adventure Time, Steven, regular show, all those shows for a few weeks. I don't know if it was because of Christmas or something. They probably give them Christmas breaks over at the network. So uh, yeah, uh, thanks to. Three, I think it was three emails from my uh, my loyal YouTube fans. Yeah, my loyal YouTube fans. I was alerted there was a video, um, there was a new episode, and that I should make a video about it because that's what I do. And the episode was Serious Steven. And in this episode, God, a bunch happens. Uh, he wakes up, and Steven wakes up. Uh, the episode starts. Steven wakes up, and there's Beach City is destroyed. And there's teacups everywhere, and people are just, like, all, you know, dazed and everything. And then he just closes his eyes, and it cuts to two weeks later, without any explanation, until later, of course. And they, uh, they get sent to a temple to do, I don't know, to do gem stuff. And it's, a, like, a pyramid temple, and, um, it, it's a pyramid temple, and they go inside, and Steven messes with his little triangle thingy. And everything goes upside down, and everybody falls, and they get stuck in this this place with a whole bunch of rooms. And so Garnet and Steven go through one door, Pearl goes through one door, and Amethyst go through one door. And they all go through a whole bunch of, you know, different tasks, but we don't see what, uh, we don't see what Pearl and Amethyst do, which is a nice touch. It gives us a lot of, um, it gives us a lot of time to see how Garnet and Steven work together. And how their relationship is, because we've seen it with Amethyst and Pearl, his relationship with Steven, but not Garnet, which was a nice touch. This is more of a Garnet episode, and I like Garnet. Garnet is good. She's my favorite of the gems, because she's super cool. And, okay, I'll never do that again. And so they have a flashback. Steven has a flashback. And apparently uh, the reason the teacups were destroying Beach City is because um, he... He went to the boardwalk, and you know how they have those, like, spinning teacup rides at, like, Disney World or something? And, like, the teacups go in a circle, and you just go around, you spin, spin, spin around in a circle. And so, Steven's spinning around, and he, uh, he feels sick, so he jumps off the ride, and he hits the, uh, guy who's controlling the ride, and the joystick that the guy is using to control the ride breaks off, and everything spins around, and everybody flies everywhere, and the, um, it's one of my favorite parts of the episode, uh, is um, the things spin around, and everybody goes flying everywhere, and the guy, who, the entire time, like, while they're on the ride, he's just holding the joystick, and he's like, ha, 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 <laughs> I know that was a funny face, but that's literally the face he's making, you have to see the episode to know what I'm talking about, he's like, ha, 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 he's just, like, moving the joystick up and down, and, uh, and then at the end, when, um, he finds out that it was Steven, he, like, picks Steven up, and he's like, Ha <laughs> ha, you destroyed it! And, like, the background, like, um, the background goes all red to, like, put emphasis on what he's saying. And he says, it, like, his head gets really big, too, and he says it in a really funny way. He's like, you destroyed it! You destroyed it! <laughs> and it was, it was really funny. They go back to the flashback, Steven and Garnet, uh, and Pearl and the rest of the gems meet up. They figure out that the triangle is spinning just like the teacups were, and they need to stop the triangle from spinning. So Stephen, uh, so Stephen takes a little triangle, and then the, a whole bunch of other triangles go in it, and then a, the big triangle goes in it, and then the tiny triangle just goes away, and I, th yeah, the end is kind of confusing. But, um... That's that's pretty much the end of the episode. Uh, it ends with Steven, and he gets butterflies in his face. And he's like, oh, the butterflies! And then he just runs away. And so, uh, that's the butterfly part. In the beginning, it's it's a good it's a good setup for a punchline. They kind of just leave it and then come back to it. Uh, in the beginning, you know, there's... Um, they teleport to the place where the temple thingy is. And these butterflies get on Steven's face, and he's like, Oh no, they're attacking me! And Garnet just whooshes them off, and they and he's just like, Oh yeah, that didn't even hurt. And so th they just kind of go on. It wasn't really that funny of a joke, but I thought they were just going to leave it at that and just like 
that was supposed to be funny, but they actually went back to it at the end of the episode. Like, they're all like, good job, Steven, and he's like, thanks, and they're all just standing there for a second, and, like, the butterflies just come on his face, and he's like, oh, no, they're in my eyes, and then he just runs away, and that's the end of the episode. It just, like, ends right there, and that was, that was pretty funny. That was really, that was really funny, actually. That, that actually made me laugh out loud. Um, there were, there were a few moments that made me laugh out loud. Uh, that moment, the butterflies thing, the thing where the guy is just laughing and he's just moving the joystick. God, I can't get over that. And, um, there's another part where Pearl is in, like, the spinning teacups with Amethyst, and she's, like, she has a teapot, and she's pouring tea into the giant teacup, and I think Amethyst says, like, what are you doing? And Pearl's like, I think I misinterpreted the point of this ride. And it was, it was actually pretty funny, um... You might not get it right away, but it's still pretty funny. Uh, the way it's worded, you might not get it right away, but it's still really funny if you, um, once you finally understand it. I mean, I understood it. It took me a few seconds to understand it, but when I did, it was really funny, actually. So, uh, there was, there was that. The design of the uh, Pyramid Temple is very well done. It interprets uh, triangles. Um, a lot in its design, of course, since it's a pyramid, but still, it interprets a lot of triangles in a creative way, not like, look, a triangle, another triangle, this place is shaped like a triangle, so there's triangles. It's actually done in a creative way, and there's some puzzles and, um, that he has to go through that involve triangles, and they're well done. And speaking of the puzzles that have to do with triangles, the last thing I have to say is there's a scene where Garnet and Steven are... Like there's these big swooshing, uh, big swooshing knives going all going all across the room, and there's these little platforms they have to jump back and forth from. But the platforms like lava falls on them, and the lava's only on s um, screen for like five seconds or so. Kind of just comes down. It's like, look, Stephen, and they like the screen cuts to like, just lava flowing down, and you know it's kind of just like, oh yeah, lava. That's cool. But the design on the lava, it's kind of like glowing. Well, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a wavy texture, and it doesn't really look like actual lava. It looks like Minecraft lava, kind of. kind of looks like Minecraft lava mixed with something out of the movie Yellow Submarine. So just, just take those together and put them in a snowball and then throw in an episode of Steven Universe. And it, it looks really nice. It's like a glowing texture. It's a shame it's not on screen for that long, but it's a nice little, uh, it's a nice little design if you get to look at it. It's very unique. But, uh, nothing else I can really say. It's, it's a good episode. I mean, if, uh, it's a, if I had to really say if it's the best episode so far, no, not really. It's probably, Frybo is definitely the, my least favorite so far. And this is probably, uh, second to least favorite, because 